In this video series, we're going to learn how to create an animated visualization of the selection sort algorithm. You may want to watch these videos in the intended order, so check out the description for the link to the playlist. In this video, we're going to learn about the selection sort algorithm and how it works. Selection sort is one of the simplest sorting algorithms. It's used to sort a list of numbers in ascending order, starting with the smallest numbers on the left, moving up to the largest numbers on the right. Typically, this is demonstrated using a list of numbers, but we're going to apply the selection sort algorithm to a list of cubes in Unity 3D. We'll aim to sort them according to their height. Here we have a randomly generated list of cubes, with their heights being whole numbers ranging from 1 to 10. Now, selection sort starts from the very left of the list. We're going to use black to indicate the first unsorted cube. It's considered to be unsorted because we have no idea if there's a smaller cube later on in the list. We'll now move to the right one by one, looking for the next smallest cube height. We're going to use blue to indicate the cube we're currently looking at. Every time that we find a cube which has a smaller height than one we've seen before, we'll keep a note of its position in the list so we can come back to it later if we don't find a smaller one before we get to the end of the list. We're going to use red to indicate this. You can see that the first cube we look at after our first unsorted cube happens to be a smaller cube. Therefore, it's marked with red and we move onward. The next three cubes are all bigger, so we move on until the fifth cube after our first unsorted cube, which happens to be even smaller. We now mark this one with red instead. Continuing through the list, we can see there are no cubes which are smaller, just the last cube which happens to be the exact same size as the one we have marked in red. However, because it's not smaller than the one marked in red, we just ignore it. We've now been through every cube in the list and found that the cube marked in red is indeed the first smallest cube. We want this cube to appear first in our list, so all we need to do is swap the cube marked in red with the cube marked in black. Because we're sure this cube is now the smallest, the selection sort algorithm never has to look at it again. This is considered to be the sorted section of our list. We'll mark this in green. Now we'll look onto the next cube and mark it in black, with the intention to swap it with the next smallest cube in the remainder of the list. The entire process is then repeated over and over until we reach the end of the list. It's worth mentioning that if the selection sort algorithm does not find the height that is smaller than the current black cube, nothing is swapped and we move on to the next cube. Once we reach the end of this process, we can consider our list to be sorted in ascending order. That's all for this video on selection sort and how it works. You may want to watch these videos in the intended order, so check out the description for the link to the playlist.